I am Mike Waters. I just love writing songs. I fell in love with like the idea of writing songs when I was like 26. Prior to 26, I wasn't involved in like anything musically. Tried out for, I think it was the second season of Australian Idol once when I was younger. And it was, I, it did not go well at all. It was terrible. I, like, I was so nervous that I just like cooked the very first audition and they just looked at me and were like, what happened there? And I was like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. And they're like, okay, maybe go get some practice and come back. And then I, and then I just like, I was so embarrassed by the whole thing that I just didn't. In order to play a song, I would just like rearrange the four or five chords that I knew to like, to, to sound somewhat like I imagined that song so that when I sing that song, it sounds good over those chords. And I kind of realized at a point that I wasn't really singing the song, that song anymore, you know, I was, the, everything that I'd built was kind of like the foundations of my own song. And I thought like, why don't I just like try and write my own lyrics over this instead of, you know, instead of singing what someone else wrote. And as a result, I made some really terrible, terrible songs that were just awful, just really bad. I went and I saw uh, Vance Joy uh, at the Northcote Social Club. I just went to this show with a friend of mine and there was this like really tall dude standing in front of me um, for like the support acts. And I was just like, Fuck, I don't, there's nowhere else to go stand. And I was like, I'll just, you know, I was just complaining. And then he walked up on stage and that was, he was Vance Joy that was standing in front of me. I was just kind of like, this, he's just a dude. Like he was just like me standing here in the crowd. And now he's up there like playing these cute little songs on, you know, on a, on a ukulele. And I was like, why don't I just try and write little like, you know, lean into some of that more like fun pop sort of stuff and see what happens. And I wrote this one song that I, you know, I think is terrible now, but at the time I was kind of like, huh, that that's so different to like all the other stuff I've written in the past. Like it just felt more, it came more naturally and just felt more like, I don't know, it didn't, it didn't feel like effort. It just felt like I just kind of happened. I think just by like putting music out and people can like hearing it was, the key to all of it because if the music wasn't out there and available to listen to then you know then there was no way for me to find my way through you know to to the things that I've done over the last few years so my managers called me up one day and went is so this guy from the states like yeah uh, he has he has a wikipedia page uh, you know, like, but he's interested in like, he's wondering if you're interested in, in like writing for other people. Like, have you thought about that? And I said, yeah, of course, I would love that. So I would, you know, write stuff, come up with stuff. I'd go home from work and just be like all night, just be like trying to, trying to write stuff for these tracks, just trying to, you know, really do my best. And then I'd send them to him and he would be like, yeah, it's not very good. But like certain things he'd be like, I like this about it. I like that about it. Um, but like this is wrong and that doesn't that's not good and he had taught me a lot already like he'd really given me a lot of insight as to like what it is that like pop songwriting actually is and how you how you form a song and how you put it together and what sort of things you need to consider they flew me out to LA for a bit and you know I had landed just completely bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and and totally in love with this exciting new city. Uh, and, you know, I spent a decent amount of time there just working with names and putting in rooms. As with any other job, it's in, it's an industry where people work, you know. It's, uh, it's really interesting. You know, I got lots of great opportunities from being over there. I wrote songs with some of the best songwriters in the world. And, but I was absorbing it all and just learning so much about like what they do and working with them, seeing where their strengths are and what they're good at and and how they operate. And I, I don't know, I learned, learned lots and lots over, over the years that I was there and sort of got to a point where I, I had to really think about like what my strengths were. At the end of my last trip to LA, which was, you know, the end of 2018 and my wife couldn't get a visa for LA or for America. And I was sort of, it was quite expensive to keep going back and forth and spending so much time there because, you know, paying for accommodation and flights and, you know, cars to get around and, and all sorts of things. And then I sort of, uh, I had all these songs. I had this some time to myself and all these songs that I'd written while I was over there. And I thought, 
like, I want to do something with these songs. Like, I really love these songs. I think they're the best stuff that I've written and, you know, no one's taken them yet, these particular songs. Uh, so I wanted to, like, put them out and, and turn them into a, an album or, a, you know, or something. And so I connected with my label, Sony, and uh, to release these demos, you know, as and reproduce them as things. I was going to reproduce some of these songs. I was just, you know, they were demos, so they weren't particularly well, like, finished or anything, but I had some ideas of things that I wanted to change. I, I worked with some guys in Australia called DNA Songs who are amazing, and I was like, I really want to work with those guys. If I'm going to be doing anything on this music, I think they're the guys to do it, because I think they're, you know, the best producers in Australia. They're just incredible and fun guys to work with. Um, so I booked like a week to, to get in the studio with these guys and we decided to just write, write new stuff. And I, I hadn't really thought too much about writing new stuff for, you know, for, to put out cause I'd been sort of shaping everything around the idea that I was going to put out these songs that I'd already written. Uh, Anthony had an idea. He's like, it's songs. He's like, I've got this idea. It's called, I'm doing fine. And he, he told me the, the gist of it and I was like, that's not what that song's about. Like, I the title is amazing, but what that song is immediately to me is the idea that you say I'm doing fine when I'm not doing fine. The whole thing just sort of stemmed from there. We were like, all right, cool, let's let's write this song and let's figure it out. And it took us a week uh, to, to put this together. We had the whole week and we just wrote this one song, which is not something I'd ever done before. Over the next few days, it just really evolved and changed. And uh, and then, yeah, into the song that we released. I'm still the same, yeah, it's just the way it goes. One day you wake up covered in wrinkles. These lines are just what happens when you're living. 